Callum, how are you doing? I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm, I'm doing OK. Um, we've got the fight with Joe Smith Jr. announced. And uh, how are you feeling about that? I'm excited. I'm excited. It's a fight that's been spoke about before a few times. And um, it's been in the pipeline, really, for a couple of years. Even before COVID, it got mentioned. And you know, it's a fight that I'm kind of... Uh, it's a fight that will get me excited. It'll make me train hard. You know, I know it's a tough fight, but it, it's a fight that excites me. I suppose looking at your last performance, you would probably admit that it wasn't one of your better performances against a negative opponent. Maybe people expecting you just to win. Is this the type of fight that you need to get to get up for a big occasion? It was a no-win fight for me. I, I was expected to win. I was supposed to win. Um, but I knew it was going to be a tough fight. So it was it was one of them fights where you just thought, oh, just get through this one. But this fight, you know, it's for a world title. It's for the best prize in the world, isn't it? So, It'll get me, it'll get the juices flowing. I think you'll see the best of me on the 15th of January. There was talk of the Bivol fight, but kind of at short notice. Um, do you prefer this fight? Obviously, Joe Smith Jr., you've got a longer run in, but out of the two of them guys, a long run in for Bivol, long run in for Joe Smith Jr., who would you have preferred to fight um, for a world title? If I'm totally honest, I think Joe Smith's an easier fight to win. Um, I think, I don't know if this makes sense to people, but I think it's an easier fight to win, but probably a tougher fight physically, yeah. you know, because stylistically wise, um, I'm expecting a fight or a style of an opponent that I'll be able to get my work off with. And, and like pressure in this fight, it's your, you know, another chance, another crack for you at a world title. Joe Smith, the home fighter at the fence in New York. Who, who's the pressure on in this fight? Um, I think the pressure, he's, he's got pressures on, it, on, on him because he's, he's wanting to defend his belt it's in his hometown of New York. Um, but there's a lot of pressure on myself because it's probably my last chance. You know, it's, it's my last chance to fulfil my childhood dream and, and fulfil what I've always believed I could do. So, but it's a case of, you know, dealing with that pressure, not thinking about the pressure and, and just worrying about what I've got to do on, on the night and that's win the fight. Are you, are you happy to go back to New York? Because you fought in the Stone Resort Casino before and you got a, a win over Shawnee Monaghan, who was another local favourite. Happy to go back there? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, I, I, enjoy, I enjoy going to America anyway, whether it's boxing, holidays or whatever. I love going to America. So, And I've been over there a few times in the amateurs as well. So travelling's not a thing that bothers me. Um, I've been to the Turning Stone Resort you know, I performed well when I went there, so I'm used to it. I've been there before, I know what to expect. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm quite pleased it's there again. What do you think of his last performance against Vlasov? A lot of people, some people thought he mightn't have won that fight. How, how do you feel it went? Um, I thought he probably just got shaded out, to be honest, as well. It was a close fight, it was a tough fight. But I thought Vlasov maybe just deserved to nick it, but the judges obviously saw it the other way. Um, but you can't read too much into that because now he's a world champion. Now he's going to act like a world champion, feel like a world champion. So that might bring his performances up, you know, to another level. Um, but I, I tend not to worry too much about what happened then or what happened here, because the only, the only thing that matters is what's going to happen on that yeah. night. And, and, you know, all I tend to really worry about is myself, get myself in the best position, the best shape. And I'll, I'll do everything right over the next weeks to, to make sure you get the best version of me on that night. If you're preparing like that, thinking you're going to get the best version of Joe Smith Jr., how do you think he's going to prepare for you after seeing your last performance? Is that something that could maybe play into your hands where he might think this is an easy enough fight? Maybe, maybe, but I, don't, I think he'd be more professional than that. He's seen me, we both boxed on the same show that night when I fought in New York. He's seen me perform. He knows Shawnee Monaghan very well. He saw the way I dealt with Shawnee. So he knows if he's getting that kind of version of me, he knows he's up against it as well. So I think he'll prepare like he's going to be coming up against a, a good Callum Johnson. And, and you're the man who had Baturbiev over, probably the bogey man of the division, although he's a champion. No one really wants to fight him anymore. He's a, he's a ser We've seen Canelo bypass light heavyweight and go up to cruiserweight. You had him over. Does it go the distance at all, I, I or someone so. getting knocked out? I don't think so. I think I think stylistically, someone's got to get knocked out. But I just think that his style suits me down to the ground, and I do think I'll get my bombs off. And you know, I don't think he'll be able to take him. Just not not because he won't be able to take him. I don't think anybody can take him. Mm. If I can get my power shots off, I don't think people can take it. It's as simple as that. And I think he's going to be there for me to get the shots off. I hate to look past fights, but. 
We've got another big fight in the UK coming up as well before your fight in Arthur and Yard. If you beat Joe Smith Jr., is that a fight? That fight makes sense, doesn't it? The yeah. winner of Arthur and yeah, Yard. Yeah, of course it does. That, that's what. That's a great um, plan for, for everybody involved. You know, obviously I've got a task on my hands. I've got to go win the fight, but uh, great, bring it back to Britain. Have a big, massive domestic showdown against maybe the winner of Vardy Arthur. You know, it will sell out an arena, I'm sure, with that. So that, that's what I'm looking at and hoping to be able to create. Would you agree that Baturbia was seen as the number one in the division? Yeah, definitely. I think until until he gets beat, he, he's a number one man. Um, and you see, no one wants to fight him. But is that a fight you would take again for a unification one fight, possibly? Percent, one million percent. If I, if I could get that chance to have that again, um, I know I got beat, you know, I got stopped in foot in a four round in a four round classic. Really, it was it was a great fight while it lasted. Um, I had my moments, he had his moments, and he come out on top. But I'd like to have a go again, just to mm. because I kick, I kicked myself about that fight. Certain things I just think if I'd have done this or if I'd have done that or if and I'd just like to have another go just to see. Second round, you had him over. Is that I suppose sometimes people can. That can happen to people in the fight and they get carried away with power. If I hit him again, I'm going to knock him out here. Is that something that maybe affected you a little bit? He, in the first round, he actually hit me like when I wasn't looking, when the ref said stop. And he, he knocked me into next week. You know, it, it knocked my senses. I didn't know where I was. And I, I, I'm not making excuses, but I think that did obviously take something away from me. Uh, but I come back and I got him in the second. And, you know, I, I, ne I had him really hurt. I never jumped on him. But maybe if I'd have jumped on him, he might have got me quicker than he did. It's all lifts, buts, woody, shudders and yeah. cutters. You know, the facts are he won the fight and, and we had a great four-round war while it lasted. Um, he come out on top. I'd like to have another go, see if I could do better. I retired at 34, and which was this year. At 34, I felt like I was 44 probably. How, how you feel? You're two years older than me, 36. How you feeling? I feel yourself, fresh. like physically. Yeah, I feel fresh. Um, I've had a slow career. I've had a lot of time out. And, yeah. You know, I haven't got loads of miles on on the clock. So, you know, I mean, people talk about it. It kind of baffles me when people talk about age and old and and I think, well, I'm not. I don't feel old. Yeah. I don't. I don't feel. I don't feel like 36 is old. But maybe I'm just. I, I think that's a big a big deal. I think age is really just a number, and it depends how you feel personally. Yeah. Personally, for me, I feel like I was probably burnt out at 34 because of the the first part of my career. I was doing stupid amount of rounds sparring, and I think it just caught up on me. But like as you said, you, your career has been a bit of a slow burner, and you've had time out of the ring, and I think it's probably 30 36 for a light heavyweight isn't. Isn't that old, really? No, nah, not 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 for me anyway. And, and as you say, I've not done loads of rounds with the the breaks I've had from boxing. I've not done loads of rounds in the gym. I've not had hard spars all the time. And you know, I, I don't feel like I've got miles on the clock. And my training shows that as well. You know, I, I've been doing PBs this year. I'm 36, and I'm I'm PBing on certain things. I'm PBing on my running. I'm PBing on my strength work. And you know when you when you're hitting personal best at 36, it shows that you know you've still got it in the in the tank, and, and that's what I've done. So, but at the same time, I haven't got forever left. Mm -hmm. I haven't you know do, it is going to catch up on me at some point. But you look at you look at Bernard Hopkins. Eh? I might I might be the next Bernard Hopkins eh? and go on until I'm 49. Bernard so, Hopkins know. is the man Joe Smith knocked out. Yeah, yeah, that's that's where he sort of made. It. I'll get revenge for him. Saying all that and talking about your age, but feeling good. If you don't beat Joe Smith Jr., I know you're not thinking about that, but it's going to be a hard road back to get into world title contention. Am I, am I fair in saying yeah, that? Yeah, I think you are fair in saying that. Um, I do feel like it's probably my last chance, my last shot at the big time. And, you know, it's a, it's a last chance I've got to fulfil my childhood dream. So I'll be doing everything I can in training. And, you know, on the night, you'll get everything from me, you know, there'll be nothing left to chance and there'll be no ifs and buts and woulders and no excuses on the night, you know, I'm going to give everything I've got in preparation and on the night and I genuinely believe that'll be good enough to do it and I do believe I'll uh, fulfil my childhood dream that night. How does, how does Christmas look for Colm Johnson this yeah, year? It's cancelled, isn't it? Christmas is cancelled. I'll, uh, I never like Christmas anyway. <laughs> it, costs, it costs me too much money. Um, <laughs> 
But no, I'll have, I'll have Christmas Day with the boys. you still have the bay presents? Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I'll, I'll have Christmas with the boys and, you know, I'll enjoy Christmas Day, but it's, um, you know, it's one of them sacrifices we have to make, you know. I've got loads of Christmases, you know, ahead of me to enjoy with, with my boys and and hopefully if I can pull this one off and win this fight, you know, we're going to we're gonna enjoy a lot of Christmases together in a better position as well, so... It's something that I've got to sacrifice and not think about. I feel like you're saying all the right things and mentally you sound like you're in the right place and you're very determined. So I hope you do the business, mate. I oh, genuinely wish you, wish you all the best. Thank you, mate. Thank you.